Welcome to Pacific Push Taste Radio Dash Radio. It's your host G Money, hottest in the beach, coldest in the streets. And today in the beach house, I have New Brunswick, New Jersey's own six four. What's up? What's up, man? Man, I'm here. We here with you. Yeah, man. I'm glad to be here, man. I'm just feeling good. G's, what up? Oh my man. See, now we on it. We on it with the right energy, man. So right. let let let's tell the world, man. Tell the listeners about Six Four, and let's start with the oh, name. Wow, uh, man, your boy Six, man, he's he's here, he's arrived. You know, um, I've been through a lot. I've grown. My music has changed. I've I've grown, aligned myself. So you know, just telling my story. You know, I wind up tapping in like, yo, you know, I'm, I was raised in the states, but you know, I'm Ghanaian, raised by Ghanaian parents. You know, been back and forth, so I'm very, very fluent in my culture too so you know i i i tapped in more to that side you know and then here we are you know nice little blend and i want to tell the story of you know for most foreigners like that's from somewhere but born somewhere else so if i'm in Ghana, i'm american and when i'm in america i'm african and it's a little complex you know i'm always proving something or feels like it so telling all the little struggles in my story. No, 1000%, man. I, I totally understand that. I deal with the same thing. And you found you found that pocket. And I'm going to get into that, the roots. Because you've been grinding for a long time. You've been putting on for a long time. And uh, when I heard the record, I said, oh, he done tapped in. Woke in the park, <laughs> he done tapped in. Right, right, right. So would you say that creating your music is your calling? Yeah, absolutely. I, I can't shake it. No matter what I've been through, it always brought me back to mu doing music. I love how I make people feel when they hear my music. Um, I love what also some, a lot of the beautiful things that come from it. You know, you could live off of it, you know, take care of your family, change lives, you know. So I love it. When did you realize it's your calling? High school, young, like young, like when I'm freestyling, I see the attention I commanded and the love for it, the dedication, how it was so easy to lock in and how I was so passionate about it. I'm like, and then running into like an indie deal. And when I was like 17, I so I just knew like I was in the right direction. No, nah, man, there's still videos of you um, online playing 2K with Waka. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, man, we we uh, we grind, we hustle. You know, I ran into a situation with uh, label Ilburn, the the owner, is still great friends to this day, my brother. You know, and yeah, we we was you know trying to make noise, grind. You know, as independents, trying to do what we think we know to make it happen. And we met great people along the road. Like shout out to Walker because he definitely handled us greatly, great business for sure. No, man, you've been putting on, and um, when I'm looking at the older videos from there to now, it brought me back to that era, like that old nine. It was some big ass clothes. I said, damn, I still got some of those <laughs> big clothes and the chains. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, uh -huh. but the transition, man, the transition has been beautiful. Uh, I do want to ask you, um, so what's your take on the global impact and overall popularity of African culture on the world of music now. I love it, man. Embrace it. There's no reason to be upset or oh now you guys like uh, let's look it's it's positive, it's dope. Let's make sure we capitalize over it. I love it, you know, and it's it's a positive vibe. Our music, no one's fighting during our song going off, you know. It's a lot of smiles and dances, you know? And the number one record, you know, shout out to WizKid, you know? It's a, it's a great representation of the, of the continent. Yeah, and, and so is Six Four. Now, you've consistently put out music for like the past decade, but with your new single, the recognition is at an all-time high now. So when you recorded it, did you think that Walk in the Park would be such an impactful record, man? Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie, like I cooked that up, like I treated it like a formula because I asked for that style of beat. I didn't know it was gonna come out, but I needed it that tempo 
you know, and, and that type of bounce. So I spoke to Kofi Black. I'm like, yo, do this. And he, whatever, it was just, it had to be, God said, yeah, this, the time's now. Because he, he, he sent that back sh like hours later and it was just it. Nothing else needed to be, nothing, it was it. Played it for uh, medical. He's like, nah, this this beat is mad, you know. So, and then we, and then the story just keeps getting better, you know. We uh, get in the studio and I stumble across the hook, just checking levels, and everyone's like, nah, that's it. Walk in the park. I'm like, walk in the park, like. Which, but and then I took off from there. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm ready to hear it on this side in the club. Like, how how'd you get medical on it? That was a big look. Yeah, so medical, we um we met online, like you know, he so he heard something of mine. I think someone reached no, I was playing to one of his songs on my story, and some I guess one of my followers like knew him. I had just came back from Africa too. So I had seen him perform, but I didn't know him yet. So um someone said, Yo, I know him, I'm gonna send the video, I think. I'm like, okay. So he winds up hearing it, checking my stuff to it, like, yo, you dope. And, you know, at that time, he's a big guy out in Ghana. So I'm like, oh, that's that's dope. You know, he took the time out. So we, he just he's just a great-hearted person. We message. He's like, yo, I'm coming to America, such and such date. Let's meet up. So I met him at, um, he had a show in New York or so, and we met. And from then on, he's like, that's like family. That's a family, you know. The video crazy too. They jumping around. You got them things in it. I say, yeah, it's a great vibe going on over there. This is what we need. It's a difference from the music you were making back in the day. I said, he's already came through and found that. But it's a good, good vibration. Now, um, with that, with Afro beats really breaking through the states, do you see more opportunities for other African artists? Oh yeah, absolutely. As long as we, you know. We, we do our research and we see what works, you know, and, you know, we, we got research to do. You know, there's things that we, that's okay in Africa that's not okay here and vice versa. So, you know, depending on where everyone's coming from, we get it so that it's a universal vibe and then we'll definitely continue to catch. But, yeah, I think we're in the, we're in a, the greatest direction right now, you know. So it's just, it's, what a time to be African. You know, <laughs> that's I saw on your Instagram. You had put that. It was like yo, first they get the thugs, then they with the squares, then they double back and they get an African. <laughs> Hello, my darling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, yo, you out of control. But um, now, now that you know, again, congratulations on the success of the song with the Thank momentum you. going. What's next up? Oh, um, next up we got the um we got the crazy single man and um we brought somebody into the Afrobeat world, you know, that we all familiar with, a very big artist that we're familiar with from, you know, our side of the waters, you know what I mean? So, you know, we just twenty twenty two is is oh it's we we letting them go. We letting them cannons go. And uh, yeah, you guys could look forward to an album from me, you know, a project, uh, music coming soon shortly no nah, definitely man so you know the next step is to is to have a song playing on fifa we, I, i'm it's gonna have god i know it's gonna because that's what i do fifa that's what i do you hear me i know, would love to hear my my track on fifa what what well you know they about to leave ea sports too it's getting crazy all right i need yeah. to hear that Listen, wow. man, my ear to the cut. You know, FIFA is big. Like, they're trying to negotiate the contracts. EA, like, y'all want too much. Like, everyone talking about the 2K Madden. You know how big FIFA is. So it's different. You get I that tell FIFA. You. So FIFA's the world. Yeah. It's the world, man. It's the world. Right. You know, Um, but before, before we get out of here, I do want to finish off with uh, your three favorite things. And I'll let you be the judge if you want to choose Ghana or you want to choose New Jersey. But I asked the artist, all right, first, your favorite place to eat, your choice, Jersey, Ghana, you could go back and forth. <laughs> okay. Um, whew, my favorite place to eat? All right, in Jersey, taste of flavor in uh, Union, New Jersey. Yeah. 
Shout out to Princess. Uh -huh. Shout out to Princess. Now, um, second, your favorite place to go shopping. To be honest, I'm an uh, electronics guy, so I'm um, Best Buy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? Or, the, or or I like being at the car dealership sometimes. You know, I ain't buying a car every day, but I'm a car guy too. You know what I mean? The clothes, you know, I, you know, it's like I do it for the people, you know? <laughs> no, I get that. That's a great answer. Now, 6-4, when you're not doing your thing and, and making these hit records, what do you do for fun? What do I do for fun? Honestly, yo, for fun, I, FIFA. FIFA, PS5. I'm out, I'm getting busy. I'm getting busy, and I owe I owe Medical a, a L. He been he been he he been waxing me the last few games. Oh <laughs> man! Well, well, you know what? I got a bonus question for you, I man. How do you really feel about the Nets being in Brooklyn? You know, I mean, you know, like <laughs> you know, like. I, mean, I I can't do nothing about it, so it's like, all right, you know what I mean? I just ain't going to no basketball game. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I, I they know took you. everything from us, man. But we, it, it's going to circle back, man. It's going to circle back. All right, man. Well, yo, it's been a great interview. I appreciate you Thank taking you. the time out. Thank you, geez. Before we get out of here, let the listeners, the fans, followers know how they can get in contact with you and how to run up that song. <laughs> Man, you already know it's your boy six fo, the number six, the letter F O. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Snapchat, it's the real six fo. Um, and make sure y'all stream Walk in the Park. Six fo, man, it's a dope sound, makes you feel good. You wanna get ready to wake up, hit the gym, you could play it. You wanna dance with your child, you could play it. You want that. You just want to feel good, you could play it, man. It's the walk in the park. That's what it is. G Money 6 4. Ladies, go get you an African. <laughs> I mean, he said it. He said it. <laughs> we out here. We out, man. It's my man. I appreciate you. Nah, I appreciate you, man. I hope I did all right, man.